Welcome back! What are the Bourbon Yogis? And today, we use a proofometer. No. All right, let's get this bad boy out, Anton Pear. Let's see if he made good equipment or not. What'd you say? Anton Pear. Par? Anton Pear. It's P-A-A-R. You guys ever sure. seen one of these bad man pajamas? Have you? Not until Sean bought one. No. Cost a bunch of money, but they tell you how much alcohol's in your alcohol. I mean, we really, I mean, we need it for the final product Beep. that we're mixing, not right now. I feel like I'm in a sweet laser tag tournament. Got him. I just want you to put it away <laughs> yeah, it's until expensive. we I need shouldn't, it. I shouldn't, this isn't really, just feels nice, you know? So I'm fun. glad you're enjoying it. So what we're doing today, we're taking some high proof bourbons. Yep. And we're gonna try to turn them into their low proof counterparts. Because why not? I wanna see if they taste any good if we water them down versus the distillery watering them down. Full transparency, we don't have Kentucky limestone water. This we, is the difference. We have RO water. Yes. Uh, that's what we're gonna use yes. because that's what we have available yep. uh, for proofing. Sorry, Kentucky, we're just gonna go with Michigan RO water. You know, if this video goes well, then we'll just get Kentucky limestone water and do it like with more bottles or something, like different bottles. Okay, we got, listen, we're gonna do one rye. Here's the rye. We're gonna do two bourbons. We're gonna do three bourbons, I mean. Um, so we're gonna do four bourbons. We're gonna do one rye. One of the bourbons is weeded, AKA Weller. We're gonna take this uh, Old Forester single barrel uh, rye and yep. we're gonna water it on down to the old 100 proof yep. and see if it compares uh, with the uh, regular 100 proof. Got measurometers. That's a pipette, buddy. So Dan didn't do any of the math. It'll be right. Well, you don't have to do math. You put water in it until your proofometer says it's right. I know, buddy. That's literally how science works. You just do the math. So we're going to take this one and we're going to pour it in. That's what I said. That's what I said. You only uncork one of them I see now. <laughs> I said that this is what we're going to do. I actually okay. have, a, I have a, a very interesting theory I'd really like to test. Okay. Right now, and it requires a proofometer. Go ahead. This is your very interesting theory. This bottle has been open for two years. Okay. This is the first bottle of Old Force Rye you and I have ever owned. I bought this for $50. We can prove it later, buddy. True, we have some left. You are going nope, to have some troll, and nope, we have I forgot. <laughs> all of this video to go. Let's go. You gotta speed this up, you're taking too long. So I Boom. have to do 15.625 mils of this, so yep. I'm gonna do this twice. Exactly that amount, give or take, about an ounce. Not even close. They will be much, much closer than that, buddy. Actually, you know what? Why don't you just not touch anything? Whiskey. Why'd you do that? All right, and then we add said That's water. A lot of water, dude. Hey, do you want to try? This is supposed to be a hundred proof now. It is a hundred proof now. So now so we in should theory, have these are the same proof. proof. Both same distillery, yep. same mash bill. Got it. Only thing is, didn't use Kentucky limestone water, and this is a single barrel. Oh, this this is more. This is more. I think that's sweeter. I think that is sweeter and simpler. It's that sweet. thing smells amazing. They do smell more similar than I would have expected to. That's over 100 proof, guarantee it. You can get the proofometer on it. That's over 100. I will do that. That's over, That's at least a 106. I might actually just prefer the water down. That's really good with water. That's really good. That's fantastic with water. In that's it. got a, a, a little bit of depth to it that this doesn't quite have to it. Like there is um, some stronger oak and like vanilla in there that's like driving me more towards a bourbon than even a rye. Mm -hmm. But it's sweeter and more complex than I think the, the regular 100 proof version. Oh! The spice is still there. Just not in the same quantity. So they do feel the same. Also, these are not mellowed out. I mean, you just watched me mix them. Yeah, we didn't, the, the water has not yet married molecularly with the- Molecularly? Proteins and fats of Please the stop. whiskey. I wish you wouldn't. No, people are gonna really enjoy my version of science. I think the win right there goes down to the, the watered down version uh, on those two. It's not even remotely close. Okay. There is more complexities in the old horse or <clears throat> big boy All right, rye. we're gonna move to the brown foreman. The foreman with the brown in it. And now this is a fresh crack because we didn't have one in the hut. Yeah, I had to buy one. Okay, we're gonna pour as much of this in the glass as we can No, fit. that's not how this works. You, <laughs> you pour this one, buddy. You should, you wanna ghost pipe at this bad boy or? Can don't, you... don't plunge it all the way down. Can you do this? Now I'll plunge it all the way down. Got it. See, told you guys. I know how these things work. Sean Tommy. What? <laughs> Analytical chemistry years and you're gonna teach me how to do this? Let's see how much water this is. 
See, that seems like the appropriate amount of water, if I'm being honest. People add literal water. Oh, you're doing it twice? Yeah. How so much it's water it's over five mils, and this is a five mil pipette, so I've got to do it twice. We just got to start putting water in everything, dude. The correct, like, RO water, not my shitty well water. The problem is Sean and I often water things down with my well water. Yeah, we do And that. it's not good. It's softened. It's still hard. <laughs> Um, overall, I haven't had wood for in a while. That slaps the shit out of Sag Jr. noses. Oh, it's so sweet. Oh, it's so good. Oh, that's wild. Oh, it's incredible. That's so, supposed to be 90 proof? This is now 90 proof. That's the best 90 proof I've ever smelled in my life. <laughs> that's like lost profit. Dude, Dude holy shit. You gotta shit. stop freaking, listen to me right now. What we've discovered, I'm not drinking that, it smells too good. What we've discovered is you just buy this whiskey and then you can make like eight bottles of it. If you just put RO water in it at the right ratios. How that, that math works, but how oaky that is at 90 proof mm -hmm. is wild. That makes it feel like it's 12 plus year old whiskey. It might be. The problem with this is we don't know like the age of That literally feels like over 12 to like 15 year whiskey. How oaky, like that sweet oak, it's so defined. It smells like an old orphan um, for real. It really it does. does. Um, and then you have Woodford Reserve that you get to compare it to. Hint? Holy shit. Hear me out. Did you try this? Yeah. That's not even that bad. It's pretty good, actually. We haven't had that in a really There long are time. a lot of similarities there. Exactly. You can tell that they're 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 buddies. They're brothers. That's closer than I thought they'd be. Yeah. That is so much better than I thought it was gonna be, though. It's not even close. Whiskey with water is pretty good. Which is right. very interesting. That's two for two that. for watered down products. Just being good. Not in, not just even winning. That's just being, just being good. Really good. What this is supposed to be 90 proof? Yes. That's 96. Two for two on the uh, the water down. Before oh, yeah. we go on, we're gonna take a quick second to talk about the sponsor today's video. So we got a little original grain action. Yes. Gonna do that. Do you like watches? Just B-roll. Do you like jewelry? Rings. Rings? <clears throat> I rings. was just a jewelry. Rings are jewelry. Rings are I think jewelry. rings jewelry. Listen, original grain is a company that makes really freaking cool watches and rings and sunglasses. They make whiskey glasses. They make a ton of stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, they get a lot going on. A lot of cool watches too. Yes. We just, we just looked through, me and Danny each got one. Um, I've got the, the 42 millimeter that I, I absolutely love. I had to get one link taken out, but fits like a, a dream. Gotten a lot of compliments on the the watch itself They're and one cool. unsolicited uh, response about the, the ring, which I thought was cool because no one ever looks at men's rings. Yeah, cause usually, well, the thing is, is usually, and I've had like, I feel like 12 wedding rings now. Yeah. Usually they're like hyper plain, one yep. color, no design, no engraving, no yep. nothing. Now, if you like whiskey and Father's Day is coming up and a lot of guys that watch the channel happen to like whiskey, um, they yeah. use whiskey barrels, reclaim whiskey barrels. They're no longer being used. They got beer barrels too, yeah. tequila barrels. So no matter what to you, make what you got, they got something for you, but it's all in the, the watches and the rings and yeah. stuff like that, which is awesome. They're I'm really all cool. About that. My favorite watch on the website is currently the. It's a Brewmaster, and oh. it's got like a. It's, it looks it's like a, a barrel char, and then it on the sides, and then the. It looks like a Kelvin split gate barrel. It's so freaking oh, cool. Oh, I didn't even think it's about so that. It's so freaking cool. Gorgeous. Um, it's but, so cool. So for every item that they sell, they plant a tree. They've planted over half a million trees, and as you know, we've done a video about <laughs> uh, you know barrel shortage. So yeah. maybe we talk them into planting some. Some American Some oak. white oak. Yeah. That would be great for Come us. and find out we need trees in this <laughs> industry. We're out so of trees. They're also helping. Um, but yeah, check out Original Grain. Support them. They supported us. Link right below. Get 30% off your order. Which is huge. That's significant. That's, That's very insane. Significant. That's crazy. So thank you guys for working with us. Yeah. Go there. Get yourself an awesome Father's Day yeah. gift for your dad who is tired of getting the same things. Yeah. Listen, you could buy whiskey stones again. No. <clears throat> no. Or you could buy original grain products, which are actually way freaking cooler. So way, way cooler. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for working with the channel. Yep. Uh, hopefully it helps some of you guys either get a cool Father's Day gift yep. or give a cool Father's Day yep. gift. Back that, to the video. Okay, so next yeah. we're gonna swap them yeah. out again. Set these down. Next we're gonna do two big boys. Oh well, that's a big boy for sure. This is a uh, stack 17, and then we figured since. Uh, Eagle Rare, you usually get that 10 year ish age statement. Yeah. We're, we're going to go with uh, Buffalo Trace uh, being a little bit younger. Yeah. That you should compare a little bit more. Same mash bill, same yeah. distillery, and realistically, neither of these are single barrels at all. Yeah. So I know that they're Ages both. Ages should be a lot similar. They're both batched, but yep. this, this should be a closer representation. All right. So we got this fella here. Take her up. Bam. That's a good amount of Sag Junior right there. Well, that's, that's only a, half of it, that's buddy. A nice amount. Wrong one. That old Forcer hitting a little different after it sat in that glass. Oh, dude, the, that scares me every time. If you zoom into my face when you do that, I swear to God, I just jumped. Like, actually. Mm -hmm. Now what we're doing is adding RO water to the Stodge 
Junior, the beautiful batch. I don't even know which one. 17. 17. Uh, I might have wrote the wrong thing on the back. That's your handwriting. Yeah, I wrote the right thing. Okay. I actually had Buffalo Trace in the longest Dude, amount of time. I might never drink whiskey without water in it for the rest of my oh, life. This smells like toasted marshmallows. Yeah, you know? wait till you... So, this is, this is a really big thing in scotch. And it is a thing in bourbon, but it's a smaller thing in bourbon. Okay. okay People okay. put water in scotch to help bring out more notes or level out sharp notes or stuff like yep. that. The weird thing is us as Americans don't believe in... No, we don't. It's hell we yeah! An 128 proof, yes. just right on the face, just uh, Shove it up there. in there and let her rip. This reminds me actually more of uh, Eve's Taylor. Buffalo Trace is so good. Why is it so good? That normal Buffalo Trace is so good. I would honestly just think this is Eve's Taylor small batch. If I'm smelling it. Small batch? Yeah. Hmm. I think it's a little woodier than small batch. Okay. I think they- But that's I, 100 proof. True. And this is supposedly 90.4. We'll mm -hmm. see. I'll, I'll mm -mm. be the- 90, buddy. Uh, right. That's what I said. Oh. I will be the judge. Dude, that's so oaky. Like- It smells oaky. Okay. It smells woody. Oh. I actually might prefer the Buffalo Trace on that one. The nose I prefer the Stag Junior. The, the drinking I prefer the Buffalo Trace. This feels more put together. Yeah. Like uh, now, you did mention this earlier. Often, what you would do is you would add some water and you'd let them mingle for a while. And you'd yeah, let you sit wouldn't and... be be able to just throw in like if you were proofing down Stag Junior to make it into the like the, in a batch. Yeah, you wouldn't just crash all the the water in there like we're doing right now. Uh, this is obviously a little quick and dirty yeah. method to do it, but it's... I just want to see the similarities between you and we want to see if this idea of adding water to bourbon. Is, in is actually like a great thing that we're all missing out on. It's very possible. It's so much I, closer than I think. I prefer the Buffalo Trace. I don't know, it's a coin flip for me. Again though, I do think that they taste so hyper similar now. We'll put one in the, the win column for yeah. the, the non water This is the first one then. though. Yep. This is the first one. Okay. We got one left. We'll rip one more and then we're gonna proof ometer and see if I'm right or yep. not, because I'm right. <laughs> the one that everyone came here for. Bah! Yeah, because listen, you wanna know what's impossible to find unless you're in Ohio or Texas? All the wellers. So yep. let's see if they're worth drinking with water in them. Nope. nope. Uh, this one ain't gonna work, so. Oh no. I need to put it in a glass. I here. actually do need a glen. Watch this. Dab a little bit more. There you go. We're gently bringing her down to proof. Wait, just add the whole thing. Zoom in. It's like it's peeing. I really don't care for Weller Special Reserve that much. Neither of us do, but this Weller Foolproof with water and it smells fan freaking fantastic. And this one was done properly. I slowly added water. Like you would, like one would. Like a slow water retriculation? Like a slow retric. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a dummy. <laughs> this actually smells fantastic. How's that smell? Not bad at all. That's the ding every time. Well, your special reserve is empty. Why is that? Okay, somehow, this is the first one I think is on this. Empty. This kept all of the oiliness. Okay. Even with the water, it's still oh, it's so um, viscous. Out of everything we've done, mm -hmm. these are the, by far the like farthest apart from each other. This smells like empty. That like, special reserve is actually, actually nice. It smells empty. Special reserve is not bad, especially for what it, what it used to be, $18. Mm -hmm. That This was the best sub $20 bottle of all time, probably. I don't care for either of those. Um, no, they're not my favorite, but comparatively, they're really close, actually. Those feel like the closest to me because Special Reserve actually tastes like the first sip of Weller Foolproof I had. Weller Foolproof, Foolproof, pretty dang good. That's <laughs> shocking. That's weird how that works, isn't it? I give no points here. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm, I'm so on board with neither of these being good. For this being $18, it's great. Um, that's all I'll say. Old Forester. I definitely give it to the the watered down rye uh -huh. being great. The Woodford, the watered down uh, foolproof, mm -hmm. amazing. Oh, that was so good. By far the batch best proof. one that we had. The batch, batch proof, proof yeah. Was ridiculous. Sorry, the the batch proof that we watered down. That's crazy. Is by far the best one. Here. Yeah, good. You could buy one bottle that and realistically make probably three bottles or four bottles or something like that. Two and a half. Yeah, which is what I mean, dude. Holy shit. Really, really good. Um, that makes each one of those bottles. I'd rather just drink the Buffalo Trace. I would too. But now, okay. Mr. Pear has entered the scene. Par. And we're gonna do this in the same order that we did first. Sean has to calibrate that yep. with water. I guess 106. That seems a little high now that I'm like in the moment. I feel like I was more confident. 
What's the, what's the, what, how far off can this, oh shit. How far off? The is error this? is 0.2. <laughs> Dude, I need it to be about five off. So the error is 0.2 and it came down to 50.2. So it's 100.4. So my math wins so far. You ready? Not really. Confidence is low. Please be high. Please be, holy shit. Oh, it's so close. I mean, for, for all accountable purposes, that's just 90 proof on the net. That is 45.15% with an error of 0.2. And I said 92 proof? Yeah, you want to close. So I was it. right. We got a two proof error. Thing no. Here. Well, let's see if I can still do math. I have a feeling it's about 90. Oh, this one's a little low. I guessed under on this one too. This one's coming out to about 44.7. Nope. 44.65. I'm not giving you any. I think realistically, um, the, the the real winner is this. The winner is if you're watering that down is amazing. Batch proof watered the hell down. Um, I was not that big a fan of the old Forster batch proof, like the or the the rise, the barrel proof rise. Like I like those way more. They're, than they're a little bit more or too much for me. Mm -hmm. With water though, that is a monster. It's really good with water. The the Weller, I you know. Hey, I guess we're wrong. Why don't you experiment? Throw, throw you some gotta, water in your whiskey yeah. and see what happens. Just, if you have RO water or you can buy RO water and you can do this a little bit. Uh, I feel like we learned something today, maybe. We're the Bourbon Junkies and Game this is how you do science. First in the board. <laughs>